Have you ever just watched people? I definitely have. And when I do, questions usually start to come up. What have they experienced? What motivates them? What have they overcome? Where are they going? We pass by hundreds, if not thousands, of people every day, each with their own story. In this video, I share with you two of the four strangers I approached in New York City, each whom are willing to give me a glimpse of their lives. Welcome back to another episode of Ordinary People. I'm just in town here in Manhattan for the weekend to see uh, the USA Ireland rugby game. Uh, I play rugby in Cleveland. I lived in Manhattan for a couple of years, a while ago, so I know the city pretty well. If you get the opportunity ever, come move to New York. It will change your life, change your perspective on the world. Don't be afraid to branch out, move places, different cities, have fun. I just, I like being around people. Some people don't, but I think it, it brings uh, a little life to you, um, feeling that you're never alone. There's random people that just come up to you in the park and <laughs> ask to take videos of you. Um, it's, uh, it's just, it's enriching, you know. It, it helps with your, your, your person, but it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Only about half the people here are actually from here, so yeah. it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's really, it really is truly a melting pot uh, of every kind of person. But not just New York, travel the world. I lived in Chicago for a while as well. It's not as good as New York, but it's, it's good. It's good for you, meet new people. I work at Lola, which is um, a subscription um, tampon company. So feminine care, we have pads and liners too. Um, I've worked there just over a year. The company's about two years old. Um, and I've lived in New York for five. Yeah. Um, I worked at a startup between um, the law firm I worked at and Lola. Um, so I've actually been at two startups. I knew I didn't want to go to law school, um, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. <laughs> My whole life I had thought, you know, I'm going to law school. So once I decided against that, it was kind of, oh God, I don't know what's next. What? And uh, yeah. Do you mind me asking why you decided against it? Um, I think it's, had a lot to do with my experience as a paralegal. I worked at, you know, one of those big firms, um, like 600 lawyers at it. Um, a lot of, um, I met a lot of people that I liked, but I met a lot of unhappy people too, and um, just didn't think I wanted to put the time and monetary investment into law school when there was probably something out there that I would, would like better. Right, 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 right. sure. Yeah. Peter, I'm not, I'm single. Okay, so what is it like be a single woman in Manhattan? <laughs> um, I think my experience is probably different than most since I also work for a tampon company, <laughs> so it makes bar conversations always interesting. When I started at Lola, I was actually dating someone and then a few months in we broke up, so I was not even expecting that when I uh, was newly single. I'm lucky that I have that as a barrier, like people that aren't into it, it's a pretty good way of being like, all right, you're not worth my time. People are turned off by that? Assholes are turned off by that, so. <laughs> Not so much turned off, but like not into it. Responses that I've gotten have been the widest range. Tell me, I mean, tell me both the range. Give one example. Yeah, so I had like, I met one guy who was so into it that I was like, do you have a period? <laughs> like, I don't know why you have so many questions for me. I was dating this one guy like a couple times and he introduced me to his friends and was too embarrassed for me to tell them what I did, which was like, all right, bye. Yeah. <laughs> so those were the two extremes probably. Yeah. I, I don't know, I guess my parents got married when they were older, they were like 30, 35. I feel like marriage is pretty far <laughs> away for me at this point. Um, so it's, yeah, I guess career is priority now and then, I don't know, I feel like something will fall into place. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, no problem. There are 10 million people in Manhattan and more than 7 billion in the whole world. What does your story look like? If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see the next two interviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Ordinary People. <laughs> and here I am with a camera. Trolling Central Park. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs>